Hey everyone, today's Sunday and I just did a bunch of meal prep for my Daniel fast this week and I wanted to give you a quick tour of what I prepared in just about three hours today for my Daniel fast. So I like to make everything from scratch for my fast and so meal prepping is definitely the best way to go when you're doing that. I took about three hours this morning and made all of this food and this is going to get me through at least about four days without having to really do any cooking, just reheating and serving. Okay, let's check it out. So what I have right here is I have some meal prepped rice, beans, and queso. And what I did was I prepared the queso, which I'll share the link to in the below the video. And then I also prepared some refried pinto beans and then I cooked some rice. Um, what I actually did last night was I made the rice and the beans, so then today all I had to do was make the queso sauce and then pour it over the prepared rice and beans. So I'll have these for dinner for three nights in a row. And what I like to do is I just like to pop one of these straight into my air fryer and then I reheat it for about 10 minutes. And then I'll serve it with maybe some shredded cabbage or other leafy green. And then maybe if I go to the store, I'll get some salsa or some guacamole and make a big feast out of it. If I don't get to the store, then all I'll do is basically put taco sauce or hot sauce on top of this and then serve it with some spinach or cabbage that I already have. Okay, so that's dinner for the next three nights. That's a super hearty dinner too. This is a lot of beans and a lot of rice and the queso is made with potatoes and carrots and nutritional yeast. So this is like a super protein packed bowl that's already ready to go and just really saves me a lot of time when it comes to dinner time. And then so next here I have in my Bent Go meal prep containers is my easy everyday lunch. This is my hummus that I made in the food processor. I chopped up some celery and some bell peppers and then I placed those into the containers here. So this is gonna get me four days of lunches already prepared. I also went ahead and baked some unleavened bread. This is made with whole wheat flour and water, salt, and olive oil. And then I just use my food processor to process the dough, which I'll share a link to the recipe below. But all I do is I basically make the dough, I spread it onto some baking sheets with olive oil. I like to slice up some uh, like onions really thinly and then put those on top. And then I bake that for about 11 minutes. And this made me, actually we already did eat some of this, but this makes about normally about 12 pieces of bread about this size. So I'll eat maybe one or two of these um, for lunch. Okay, the next thing I did was I baked some of my oat bars. These are super delicious. I'll share the links to all these recipes below, but this one is one of my go-tos for quick and easy breakfasts. These oat bars are packed with a lot of nutrition, and in just one big batch, I can make, you know, how many, however many bars this is. This is about, I think, 12 to 16 bars. No, 16 bars this size. So these have peanut butter, raisins, ground flaxseed, walnuts, apples, dates, um, cinnamon, you know, some seasonings, and that's it, really. And I just puree the dates and the apples together. I pour it in with the rolled oats and all the other ingredients, and then I bake these at 300 degrees for 60 minutes. And then I like to store them in my Pyrex meal prep containers like this. I keep this in the refrigerator. So I'll eat like maybe one or two of these in a day. Usually um, after I have my smoothie or maybe as a snack in the afternoon. So those are great for meal prep. Um, and that will actually last me all week long. So I'm probably only going to make that once this week. Okay, the other things I prepared too was my Daniel Fast smoothie. This is a really great simple recipe that's packed with a lot of nutrition. It has spinach, apples, dates, uh, citrus, and almond butter in it. Um, and then what I like to do to serve this smoothie, I drink this first thing in the morning. I pour um, a glass half full with this green smoothie, and then I pour the other half with this blended up citrus. This is just oranges and uh, well it's 
basically pureed citrus with water. It depends on what time of the year it is. I was using grapefruit most of the year already, but grapefruit is out of season, so I've switched over to orange and lemon. So all I do is I take the peels off of the orange and lemons for this one and uh, put the inside of the fruit into a blender with some water and then I puree it. And then this is basically what I'll use to drink throughout the day. It gives me a ton of vitamin C, a lot of fiber, a lot of other nutrition as well. But like I said, I like to start the day with this and this together in one glass. And then when I go to have my lunch, I'll pour more of this into a glass with just some water and it's kind of like lemonade. So I'll have like a lemonade with my lunch and then a citrus green smoothie for breakfast. And then another thing I like to do when I'm going ahead and pureeing all that citrus is I like to put the peels, as long as it's organic fruit, um, I like to put the peels into a slow cooker and then put that on a simmer with some filtered water for three hours in the slow cooker. Not um, not on the stove. I find that if I boil the this concoction on the stove, it actually takes away a lot of the nutritional benefits. So I find making this tonic in the slow cooker is great. This, But basically what this is, is it's the uh, essential oils that are found inside of the peels called citrus peel extracts. And this is just really great for your skin and it's just got a lot of nutrition in it. So I like to have this in the morning with my smoothie and then I like to have this as like a breakfast snack, this as my lunch with the bread, and then for dinner I'll have a bean rice and queso bowl. All right, so I just wanted to show you this was Sunday's meal prep, and this is part of my seven-day Daniel Fast meal plan. You can check out my website, dailyfoods.com, for the free meal plan and a shopping list, and as well as all of these recipes. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my weekly meal prep. And I hope that this inspired you to do your own Daniel Fast meal prep. All right, thanks. Have a great week. Bye.